All right, it's my last video for tonight. Scotty Pippen uh, earlier today, or it might have been yesterday, said on a television show to jump that he thought that there was no way that Michael Jordan could outshoot Kobe Bryant. And um, that sparked a little bit of debate between he and Tracy McGrady. And uh, I think what kind of rankled McGrady was when uh, Scotty said that he thought that uh, Kobe could shoot the ball like Stephen Curry at times. And um, these are my thoughts. Um, numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie, especially after a, uh, a career, you know. There's no way in hell that Kobe Bryant was or ever was as good a three-point shooter as Stephen Curry. Um, Kobe Bryant's never had one season shooting uh, three-pointers at 40%. I think the best year he ever shot as far as three-point percentage was 2002, 2003. I think it was that year when he shot, uh, I think, 38% from three-point range. But inexplicably, Kobe Bryant gradually got worse from three as he got older. And I don't mean just like past his prime. I mean, after that season, he never came close to shooting that well from three-point range. He would have <clears throat> stretches where he would shoot the ball well. Um, he would have games where his jumper was wet and he was like just shooting three-pointers like the, like the ball was just... You know, leaving his hand, you know, and, and, and going in a rim on a string. You know what I mean? I mean, it, it was awesome at times. But let's be honest, for his career, he's only 33% from three-point range. And he shot a lot of threes, over 5,000 of them, as compared to Michael, who shot like... Geez, 1700 I think or so <clears throat> so it's oh and by the way I, was, I had to block somebody yesterday because they made a note that I have a tendency to sniff in my videos like I mean some of these dudes is weird man like um I, I mean I've never really noticed I did it excessively but if you want to know why I sniff a lot sometimes, it's because I have a deviated septum. And sometimes it's really difficult for me to breathe through my nose, which is why sometimes you might uh, hear me. Uh, sometimes I try to edit it out in some of my early, in like the beginning of my video, but sometimes you might hear me go, because I'm really, really trying to breathe through my fucking nose and I can't. I'm, I'm stopped up. In my nose, you know. I've had this problem, with, you know, with that and sinuses for ever since my early 20s, maybe late teens. And it's getting a little worse. I might even have to eventually have some type of procedure done. So, you know, if that bothers you that much that I might occasionally, in a video, if, the, if you're that anal, then just get the fuck off my channel, you know. But it's okay for your hero, Trump, to be... In a debate, Hillary, <sighs> like he's trying to sniff his fucking brains through his fucking head. But that's cool. But with me, I, I'm, I'm not professional enough. Go suck a dick. But I digress. Let's talk about Kobe and Mike. Um, Kobe. As far as for his career, shot 44 point, I believe 7% from the floor. Michael shot 49.7% from the floor. So the numbers show that Kobe was not as efficient as Michael. So then the argument becomes, well, you know, Michael had more dunks and, you know, Michael, you know, got out of his points off dunks and, 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 and putbacks and, you know, like, uh, he got all of his points early on, 
just on dunks, and that's bullshit. You know, Michael was the master. He mastered the mid-range game eventually. I mean, um, Michael, I'll, I'll say this. Kobe had a little bit more range than Michael. Michael did not. He would shoot three-pointers, but he did not usually shoot them from deep. Kobe sometimes would shoot them from deep. Uh, but at the same time, that probably hurt him a little bit. I always thought that Kobe's shot selection was a little bit stupid at times. As smart a player as he is, I always thought that sometimes he was trying to show up the competition. I thought sometimes he was trying to make super incredible ESPN highlight reel plays. You know, I, sometimes I used to wonder, why, Kobe, are you pulling up from three, from 36 feet out? When your team hasn't even transitioned all the way on offense. Why are you doing this? Stupid shit like that. Michael was a little bit more conservative with his shot selection. Okay? Especially as he got older. Especially when he started learning to play off the ball. Um, I will say this. When it comes to the mid-range game, Michael far exceeded Kobe. Okay? Uh, Michael, in my opinion, is the greatest had the greatest mid range game I've ever seen. Okay, um, so it depends on what you're saying. If if if, if Pippen's saying that he thinks Kobe is a better three point shooter, okay, maybe, maybe. But even with that, I, I'm I'm leery of agreeing a hundred percent because. Michael, like I said before, Michael started playing off the ball when Phil Jackson joined the organization. His influence became more dominant. Joined as an assistant coach to Phil, uh, to uh, Doug Collins, excuse me, I think uh, 88, 89. And uh, after that year, Doug was jettisoned out of Chicago and Phil became the head coach. Um, so... Michael began playing more off the ball, and he began to work on his three-point shot. Uh, I think the next year, Michael made 92 three-point shots, and uh, subsequently he became a better three-point shooter. Cut down the number of three-pointers next couple, several seasons, but by 92-93, he made 81 three-pointers again, and... Um, I think if you take away the first, I know people are like, well, oh, you get to take away, but if you take away his three point attempts from 84 to 88 or 89, at least 88, because he didn't really shoot that shot much those years. And when he did shoot them, they were different. Usually they were like him hoisting something up with the shot clock running down. You know what I mean? Um, if you take away those three pointers, his three point percentage will then go up to about thirty five percent, which is what I pretty much look at Michael's true three point field goal percentage being thirty five percent. So I'm kind of I get what Scotty's saying, but I, I think Kobe's a little bit overrated when it comes to this range and his accuracy like that. I mean, do people really remember the last few years that Kobe played with the Lakers? He was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Shooting like 35% from the floor, 36% from the floor, 20, you know, 3% from three or whatever the hell he was he was shooting at the end. I mean, he was horrible. He totally lost his shot. So shot touch, you know, but people don't want to remember that. You know, people talk about the Wizards years with Michael. My goodness. Kobe's last few years, he was fucking horrible. And yeah, he had a 60, that 60 point game to out his career, you know, to, to end his career, but that was a total team effort. They constantly fed him the ball and the Jazz weren't playing the defense that we know them as today. They weren't playing that type of defense in that game. And he still had to take 50 shots to get 60 points. You know, so, in my opinion, 
I don't totally agree with Scotty. I think Michael was a better overall scorer and shooter. Uh, maybe that's just a minority opinion, but I think that I get what Scotty's saying, but I think that Michael was an overall better shooter. Um, I think the problem is that people tend to think about prime Jordan or 80s Jordan, and they, they just think of the highlight reels. They think of the dunks and all that. But Michael, every year, showed an improved shooting touch, first from mid-range, and he stretched it out to the three-point line. And um, I just, I'm going off the eye test, you know what I mean? Like, but when he came back from back from baseball, um, I don't really remember Michael when he would shoot the basketball. I don't remember a lot of, when he did miss, I don't remember a lot of bad misses. You know what I mean? Like, I remember a lot of spin outs. I remember a lot of just shorts. You know, jumpers that were a little bit short, uh, shots that might have been just a little bit long. Um, you know, I don't remember seeing a lot of air balls. With Kobe, I do sometimes see air balls. So, Kobe was a guy who, in my opinion, was slightly streakier than Michael. Um, but when he was hot, he was hot. I mean, scorching, like, ridiculously on fire hot. But he was streakier than Michael, in my opinion. And um, that's just me, you know. But tell me what you guys think.